Well, I graduated from high school in 1944, and almost all of the classmates, even the gals, we all knew we were going in the service. So many, many of the guys enlisted in the Navy, because if you got drafted, you would be a, just a marching soldier. And seven of my lady girl classmates went to a nursing school in Mitchell, South Dakota, and they all became RNs. Yeah. But it was through the through the draft, or, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a mechanic on a B-17 bomber. Oh. Yeah. Uh, where were you stationed? Well, all over, but the last place I was stationed was Kadena Airfield in Okinawa. Yeah. Uh, how about the most memorable day of your service? Uh, I think on the trip after I came overseas from San Francisco, or from, uh, we took a troop train all the way to Port Sheridan, Illinois, and we had a real good party that whole going across the country. We got on this troop train, and we had a fellow with a porter, and he said, the first place we'll be stopping is Elko, Nevada. And he said, there's a liquor place right within walking distance of where the train will stop. But he said, rather than all of you pile out there, get like four guys from your car to go, and they can bring the liquor back. And, which we did, and then we had a party the rest of the way, all the way to Chicago. Yeah. That was the most memorable day? That was, well, we knew we were close to getting out. Uh, that was gonna be our discharge center. When I flew from Chachikawa Air Base in Japan down to Okinawa, when we approached Hiroshima, it came over the PA system that we're approaching there, and the pilot was going to circle it three times at ground level so we could see the damage. This was in February of 46, and the bomb had been dropped in August of 45. Then it was complete destruction. There wasn't a living soul there. Yeah. And how far was the, their method? Oh, probably seven or eight mile radius. Yeah. Total destruction. And what was life like for you after Well, right away I got, I got a job. On the job training with the GI Bill. <laughs> and it was a two year program. And 40 years later I was on the same job. Same building for 42 years. I sold farm equipment. Yeah, very lucrative, did well. Not bragging, but I did well. The only flight I had was from Tachikar or Air Base in Japan down to Okinawa to Kadena Airfield. Yeah? That's the only... And what, what was that mission? What were you, why were you flying there? I was just going, that was going to be my final base for okay. Kadena. Gotcha. Um, how does it feel to be back in the era today? Oh, nice. I've been here before to an air show, and I've been to this place many, many times. I just lived 12 miles from here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it feels, does it feel like, are some memories coming back to you just seeing some things, seeing the planes? Not too much. Not too much? No, okay. no. I want to... I want to see if I can get my daughter here on that B-25. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I've flown on it twice before, so. Yeah. What's that like? Oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. Noisy, but fun. <laughs> so with all of your experience in life, what, what advice would you give to the youth of today? The youth? To the it, young kids. I of think it would be good if they all served in the military for a couple of years. Right out of high school would be a really good thing for them. And they, they do that all over the world mm -hmm. up here. So what do, you, what do you think the military gives young people? Discipline. Discipline. Which we know we got a lack of. True. So uh, what would you, what advice would you offer to uh, Enlisted in the military, what advice would you give them about being in the military? Well, it's a 
really it's a great career if they want to make it their career. 20 years you have a real good retirement. And then they'll still be young. They can retire at 38 or 39 years old. And, yep. yep. Okay. They can use the knowledge that they got in the service to an off the uh, on the world market.